Hi, in this video we are going to see how to design and optimize cross section to get the lightest uh, possible design. So for that we have to we have a structure with us in this particular problem. You can note that the all the columns on the first story is W24 by 176 and then the set of columns above that is W21 by 122 and all the columns here is W18 by 119 119 and all the columns here are W18 by 65 the beams highlighted on the roof uh, are W24 by 103 while all other beams are W30 by 124. So the design and uh, the calculations, internal forces have already been calculated. Using calculate, calculate all. Now we move into the design module. We are going to add on modules design, steel, AISC. You can, we are going to do the design of all members in a shot. So you can click on select members to design, select all of them, click OK. Now we have to specify the ultimate limit states. These are the LR of T limit states, LR of T load combinations. And for the serviceability limit state, we use the AST load combinations. So we got all of them. Now when you go into materials, you know that this is the only material that we're using, that is steel A992. Cross sections, these are the various cross sections that I mentioned earlier, which are being used for this model. Intermediate lateral restraints, we haven't specified any effective lengths. No, we haven't. Um, the, de the design, the, de the default values are taken as it is. Design parameters have not been modified. Then now we go into serviceability data. And in serviceability data, you have to specify the numbers. You have to specify all of them. Okay. Now we hit calculate. Based on the cross sections that we have already assigned, does the load uh, the code checks and gives you and conducts the unity check. That is how close it is uh, to the strength the load developing. So if you want to get it uh, on the basis of the cross sections just click on cross section this lists down uh, the maximum design ratio that it had and that the, that the cross section had taken the utmost taken by say w21 by 122 is just 0.59 so this means that you can optimize this you can also understand this from the results column here and we go into the cross section uh, we can just or uh, by member you can see all the code checks being done here but not all are critical just to see the critical one you have to go into max and filter them out you can see that member number one which has a cross section value 24 by 176 has a critical the critical the maximum design ratio that is, it has achieved of 0.26 only uh, for the load combination z04 according to chapter h single axial or biaxial flexure with axial compression force according to h1.1 so this is so this clearly shows that the design the members that we have given uh, are conservative so we can optimize them by going into cross section so let's keep 0.8 as it is but for the rest you can go to click on the drop down menu and select from current row from current row means it, the code automatically picks a w shape from the aic manual that we mentioned earlier uh, irrespective of any of, uh, other other constraints because we have not specified any if we want to pick, if we want the software to pick from a certain set of uh, cross sections, you have to spe you can specify them using the favorites option, which we discussed earlier. 
so we can click current row current row current row current row and current row now we can hit and calculate now the software does a calculation based on the previous uh, previously calculated internal process this is just to give a rough estimate of the design ratio now we can see that when you go into cross sections again that most of the members have now been optimized and all of four of them are already above point nine, which means it has optimized them. Now this does not mean that software has done a comprehensive calculation of internal forces. It's just based on the previous design. If you want to replace uh, the old cross section with the new one or the optimized one, you have to right click then you can click export cross section if you have only one of them to replace just this one but in case in this case we have five of them so we can click export all cross sections to our it will replace all of them here but the load the internal forces have to be calculated from scratch so click on calculation now software does the calculation it uh, analyzes from beginning with the new cross sections. Now, when you move it to cross sections, you can see that it has been optimized very well. If you want to see it member by member, you can go here again, select max, filter it out. You can see that some cross sections are still have still not reached itself. Uh, capacity while others have reached above my above point nine and in some cases one as well so this is pretty much how to optimize cross section and the next important thing is to see which members are uh, uh, the the design ratio of each member so that you can just click graphics you can see that how the respective members have been utilized for the design for example you can just see that uh, this particular member has used 0.54 this is the design ratio that essentially saying that it has used almost 54 percent of the capacity of the cross section but when you go inside you can see that this members are usually loaded more than exterior ones have used more of uh, are showing higher design ratio uh, similarly in the case of the columns you can see that for example this column has used 0.48 over here hardly uh, 0.17 here and 0.75 here this is just the plot of the design ratio this is though it looks a little like a moment diagram it doesn't it is not the moment diagram. in fact it is the uh, the plot of design ratio another important thing is to plot uh, to, to print report to print report you, have, you can just click on print graphic you can leave them as it is click on ok you can specify uh, what needs to be input data and um, data and the template you can specify the printout report template and click on ok so the if we move into another application where the software generates the entire uh, information in our graphical form in our report form based on the design that we did so this might take a little time the file size may be like uh, it might take some time for the software to generate it entirely and then you can save this and you can uh, send this to me so this is pretty much about design and exporting the results uh, thank you